Machine Micro consists of two separate elements, the Machine Micro hardware and the machine software running on your computer. Let's take a look at the Micro hardware. You have 16 different pads. Each pad can contain a different drum sound or one shot. Each pad can also hold a multi-sampled acoustic instrument or a synthesizer plug-in, for example. In addition to the 16 pads, you also have eight different groups. Each group can contain another collection of 16 sounds. And you'll notice that when you press the group button, the pads light in blue to let you know that you're selecting groups. There's also a transport section where you control things such as start, stop, and record, as well as a control section where you load and tweak sounds as well as adjust overall project parameters. Machine Micro comes with over six gigabytes of sounds. Let's see how to get at them. Now, I'm gonna load a drum kit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is press F2 to select group because I wanna load a group of sounds at once. I'm then gonna press the browse button and I'm then gonna press F1 to get to the filter page. This is where you filter your list of results down. So hit the nav button and the left arrow until you're on this first page that says file type. Now change the file type using the control knob until it says group. Press nav and the right arrow button until you see bank. And for the type of bank, I'm going to say kits because I wanna load a drum kit. Again, press nav and the right arrow until you see the type page. And here you can choose a type of drum kit. In this case, I will choose an urban kit. Now press F2 to bring you to the list page. This is the list of results based on the filter choices you made a moment ago. You can use the control knob to choose between kits. I'll load this first one, Can't Quit Kit, by pressing the Enter button. Now keep in mind that's just one group. You have eight groups to work with. So if you wanted, you could press group, hit one of the pads at the top to select an empty group and load a completely different drum kit into that group. What you can also do is swap out individual sounds in the kit. Do this by leaving browse mode and then selecting F3 to choose sound. I'll go back into browse mode, go to the filter page. I'll use the arrow key to go back to the first page and change it from group to sample. Now in my results list, I can press a sound and then use the left and right arrow buttons to tab through sound. In addition to drum sounds, Machine has lots of sampled instrumental sounds as well, basses, leads, keys, and so forth. To load those, first press F3 to make sure that sound is selected. Then go into browse mode. Hit the filter button, F1, to get to our filter choices. And then using the nav button in the left arrow, select file type. Now in this case, instead of group that we selected earlier, make sure it says sound. Hit nav in the right arrow to select a type. I'll choose a bass in this case. And then nav and the right arrow to go to the next page to choose a subtype. Now in this case, I'm going to say analog because I want analog bases. Now pressing F2 to take us to the list tab will give us all of the analog bases. I'll load this one called Bouncer by pressing the Enter key. And there it is. Now, you might want to put this pad into keyboard mode to make it easier to play. You can do that by pressing pad mode and then F1 where it says keyboard. And now the selected sound can be played chromatically using all of Machine's pads. Machine Micro comes with a free copy of Complete Elements, a selection of plug-in presets from Native Instruments' flagship bundle, Complete 8. Here's how you would load a plug-in preset. First, make sure that the F3 button is selected so that sound is visible in the display. Then press the Browse button. Use Nav and the left arrow to get to the first page, File Type. Except in this case, make sure that you have Instrument selected like so. Use nav and the right arrow to go to the second page, which is bank, 
and here's where you'll choose the name of the plugin from which you'd like to load a preset. I'll scroll through till I see Massive. Now I'll go to the very last page here, page four, by pressing Nav and the right arrow twice, so I see Subtype. Here I'm going to choose a bass sound. Now pressing F2 will take me to my list results, and I can load the bass sound of my choice. Now that we've got some drum sounds loaded, let's see how to make a pattern. The first thing you want to do is choose the group that has the sounds you're interested in by holding the group button and then selecting the respective pad. I'll choose this first group. Now press the pattern button and press an unlit pad. An unlit pad means it's blank. There's no pattern data in there currently. I'll just choose that first one. And when you're ready to start, you can press record then play. Now machine is in record mode. You might want a metronome to help you keep timing with your playing. You can access this by holding the shift key and pressing the play button. And I'll just play a part in. You could now move to a different group and add some more sounds. I'll take some sounds from the second group here. <laughs> 